Hello there again guys, this is 3DFX speaking back in the studio. Um, today what we are going to do is I thought we may be making a part number two as for it when it comes to uh, bringing you a really good free piano for um, for Bitwig. So without further ado I will uh, turn on my internet connection because I usually have it shut off for hacker reasons. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some keys here and put in um, uh, the name of the piano. Now we have a connection back right over here in Windows. So let's uh, write in. Uh, hey everyone, in this right. one. So that's a video, we're not gonna use that. So let's go for uh, something called, let me go right over here uh, and write. Uh, Piano 162 by Ivy Audio, my friends. This is a fantastic free plugin or a piano. Actually, it's more of uh, samples. Uh, so the thing is, what you do is you download the samples and then you need a rumpler or something to be able to play back those samples. And uh, this is what we're gonna uh, try to get at uh, right now. So, uh, and this is it is fantastic. It is free because this is the best um, free piano piano I've ever uh, listened to. They could easily be putting money in this thing. So uh, here we can select how we want to download it, and I will probably uh, use. Um, say maybe direct because I'm not really sure if I have a bit torrent um donation where okay so maybe BitTorrent or um, SFS I should probably use that actually yeah I could use con oh I have contact so all right okay I'll try that then so we'll see if that works um so uh, the thing is, if you, the SFS players, as from what I've heard, is uh, a free rumpler that should be able to play these samples. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors, they are shouting very loud. So um, it's the kids here. Uh, but anyway, um, so uh, let's see. Uh, bit torrent down. So there's two versions. This one for the uh, SFZ. SFZ. I don't know really, but you know, this is short for something. Um, and I had the player before, and it worked great. Uh, but you can also use Contact. And the good thing with Contact is there is a paid version of it, and there's a free version of it. So it means if you're using Contact Free Player, you can run the samples through that one, and you will have your piano working. Um, so that's what I was thinking. So let's see if I can just, uh, if this is possible to open it. It seems like it's not really working now. I don't know why. Let's try the other one. Uh, okay, so the FF said copy magnet and start torrent. Okay, um, let's see if we could just uh, start the torrent right from here. So I guess we can because we're in Brave right now. <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, so that's good. Uh, I'm using the Brave browser, so if you are using different browser, maybe you cannot download torrents. I'm not really sure how it is with Firefox or Chrome or stuff like that. But within, in Brave, it seems to be working because it's uh, basically from the Linux community, so it's very smart. Haha. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, and here we can search for updates. Okay, so. I will not update it right now. It was actually an update there. So for the first stop, let's see how it goes for this one. Um, it's 11 person. So you can see it's quite a large collection of samples. As you can see, the total size is actually five gigabytes. So it will take a bit of a while to actually download that thing. Um, so I might just be chatting about something else in the meanwhile, or maybe do some other stuff here. Uh, we can also always start um, Bitwig in the meanwhile, and we probably also have to find the SFZ player. So I think SFZ stands for actually Sforzando. I just remembered. So let's uh, get uh, the Sforzando uh, player here. You could probably hear my neighbors there. 
they're soon moving. I'm so happy. <laughs> I've heard they should move in like one. I really hope they don't change their mind. All right, let's uh, see now. It's for sandal. They're really nice, but uh, it's just that they're very noisy. So it's for sandal. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in this one over here. Some Tendo player, I think it is. So uh, we're going to use a uh, player like this and see uh Sorsando by Ploge. So that is the one that you probably need instead of using the um, contact free player, which you should be able to do, but this, the link didn't work. So that's why I'm using this one instead. And I have used this before. Um, so Sorsando is free, uh, as I've said, player, simple but powerful for advanced users. Uh, so let's try to have that up while in downloads perhaps and see if we can um, uh, software downloads below can also be used to update a uh, version. So this is for Windows, for Mac OS. Yeah, basically all you need, Windows and Mac OS. So that's great. So let's have the Windows version, I suppose. This is version 1007, 109. All right, the question is Shipsynth. Okay, that's not what we need. We need Sosando, please. Uh, here we go. So that's better. Okay, so this is the latest version. It seems 1.971 So sandal. All right, that's the one you want. So let's pick this thing And let's have uh, a download on that one. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put it, but I'm probably just um, putting right over Here All right, so that should take a couple of minutes and um and download this thing. Oh, it's already 50%. So we're pretty soon done with the sample library. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. It's really downloading at 12 megabytes per second. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Shouldn't brag, but anyway. Um, that was a fast server. Anyway. Nice. Uh, so now, uh, what we can do, meanwhile, if we have nothing else to do, let's play with uh, some uh, pen tool and have an instrument in and let's uh, put in our old uh, pianos, meanwhile. So uh, you who watched the first part of my uh, piano um, tutorial here, I did, I think it was uh, yesterday or two days ago or something. Uh, I think it was yesterday, actually. Um, you know that I used, all oh, well, the grand piano from... Um, uh, from from Bitwig, uh, the Bitwig crew, which should be right over here somewhere, and in presets, I think it is. So if we just take the, the standard grand piano right there, there are a couple of versions. So you can take this one, for example, and uh, let's see, okay. So why do I not have sound now? Okay, still loading samples, all right. Let's see if we can do that. There we go. So this is a uh, Bitwix version of a uh, grand piano. Something like that. And I should probably, you know, I do have a MIDI keyboard here, but I didn't really turn it on. I'll try to do that and see what happens. Find the button if if we can find the button. <laughs> See, uh, should be here somewhere. There we go. So um, it's actually um, if you're wondering um, what I'm what I have here, it's actually this keyboard right over there. It's the CME. Uh, this is a 60C key keyboard. Uh, looking kind of old school now, but I kind of like the retro look, guys. So. Uh, you know, that's up to you what if you like whether you like it or whether you don't uh, I like it, but I do so Let me just see if I can uh, send, get in the center of my screen something like that. Maybe all right, so uh, That's how it looked there. Um, the CME. I like it actually. Uh, it has a little bit of a uh, touch feel to it So this you know is how it sounds if, if you take a chord or something And so in my opinion, it's a little dull sounding, uh, but it is good neutral sounding. It's just a little, 
I don't know, it's not really clear. Like the, you know, can't compare with the Yamaha, in my opinion, but yeah, that's mine. So, but it's not a bad piano. It has a good neutrality, which I do like and which feels piano over it. <laughs> if you know what I mean, I don't know. But yeah, so uh, let's see what we can... Uh Oh, sorry, I lost myself. All right, so I am not a trained piano player, but it's a good song, as you can hear. It's a Swedish one, and I don't know why we have Pop and Crackers right now. It's really annoying, I know. Um, but it's probably something with Bitwig. Or some hacker doing this fun stuff with me. Hello, hackers, how are you doing? I love you. Or not, but anyway. <laughs> we'll see about that. So, anyway, um... That's how it looks for now. Um, right now, when they uh, know that I uh, am onto them, they shut off the crackles. That's sweet of you precious little Russians, or wherever you're from. So, anyway, they're probably gonna surprise me some other way, which they think is fun. <laughs> I'm a little, uh, what do you call it? Psycho. Alright, no, but I'm not really. Uh, not. Let's see here. Alright, so... Let's see if we have what we need. 100%. Okay, so we got all the samples. And this one ought to be um, installed already. So what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to take down Bitwig. So it doesn't bug it. <laughs> it doesn't bug it. <laughs> That's fun. Because they're full of bugs in software sometimes. Not really in Bitwig, but other software, basically. If you know what I mean. Okay, so... Well, bugs is what you find, you know, a bug's life, moves as such. All right, let's um, let's start with uh, the show. So let's install the Sforzando. We'll have that. And uh, where I'm going to put it, <laughs> I really don't know. Sorry for panting. Uh, they're pretty sensitive, these microphones, if you didn't know that. I have to have gain on 100%. So, all right. So I have a um, Focusrite 2i2 interface to connect here. So yeah, anyway, that's my setup. It works pretty brilliant. It doesn't need much more than that. It doesn't cost too much money either. So anyway, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put it right over there. I probably will. Gonna see if, oh, just have, okay. So I can select here. Uh, I think I would like to have the VST tree, tree, one, two, Mm, not really sure. I don't want the standalone. I don't need it. I don't want the AAX because that's for other software like I think it's for uh, Brutals So let's see 32 or 64. I'm gonna I don't know, but I think I'll be fine with the uh, Swashando uh, 364. I hope so. So let's try that I have to be backwards compatible or something all right, let's try this, guys. Uh, we'll uh, just go with the flow here. Uh, but the thing is, now it only installs that thing and it does it to this folder. We don't really want it there because we only want the uh, VST. So what we can do, gonna put in VST plug uh, and there we go. VST plug, so Sando, that's a good thing. Oh, maybe it shouldn't be that, but whatever. I'll, I'll still have it there, I don't care. Okay, so there we go, and that one. Let's go. Thank you. And now we will try to see where it hides our little samples. So let's go to download files, and well, that's the source handle, not what I want. Uh, where did you put the samples, buddy? Um, where give me my uh, uh uh 
Where is it? This is weird. Okay, okay, okay. I'll just click this unsupported file type. What? Okay. So <laughs> that's annoying. One peer. Copy magnet link. What am I gonna do? It, it it told me I can okay I'm gonna save it like this let's try this then okay I'm just gonna put it right over there uh I it's is it saved now or what what's going on here where's my downloads really uh yeah I'm sorry about I didn't prepare this but I think it's more realistic this way so why not let's see um. Do 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 do. Uh, where do you put it? Okay, so it's it's saving right now. Okay, yeah. Now I get it. I'll probably take a bit of a while. Is it actually downloading it again or something? <laughs> probably. Uh, this is weird. Uh, okay, so. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll see. I'll probably have it correct here soon. So it seems like it's going pretty fast actually. We've done three dot three gigabytes so far. So we have four dot six seventy seconds. I'm glad I have SSDs. Anyway. So here we go. Or not plural because I had two drives, now I have one because I used one on the PlayStation. <laughs> because it needed it more if you know what I mean. But anyway. Can't be stupid, can you? Uh, no, here we go. So here we have the uh, the stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a folder for this so we can uh, hoot around. So I'm gonna put the uh, samples in here, and I'm going to extract right over here. So I extract up the samples, and for that I will suggest if you don't have an extractor, you probably have in Windows 10 anyway. But if you don't, use WinRAR because WinRAR is legendary. So. That's what I do. All right, so let's put it over here and see if we can uh, uh, see if we can uh, perhaps just uh, go inside uh, Bitwig and have some fun. Um, see if we can notice that we have some sand or something. Oops, that's brave, not Bitwig. Sorry, they're orange, both of them. That's my problem. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do also perhaps. Uh, because we're running Bitwig the first time with this plugin, we should probably do it in administrator mode. Um, so can you just uh, quit this? Up, up, up. Actually, Bitwig maybe doesn't matter, uh, but um, in other DOS it does. So let's. Um, how do you open this? In? Why can I not open as admin for? That's weird. Okay, whatever. It probably does so anyway. It's probably a Windows thing, because. Before you could, but now they they update everything, you know, and with that things are gone, and that's super duper annoying. Um, but yeah, so okay, so we 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 have Bitwig here. How do we get in this for Sando? So let's tr just um see if we can. Uh, there we go, good boy. Found it at once. Perfection. All right. So here's for Sando, and right inside of Bitwig. So the only thing we need to do now is to make sure this one <laughs> has extracted all the files. So uh, we're just waiting for that thing to happen. Let me just check my video. Okay, so we've been doing 20 minutes. Not too bad for this because I know we've been talking for a while, but yeah. All right, so. Uh, okay, so right now, because when I do videos, time just flies, you know, and it's because I'm talking too much. So, all right. Um, so here we have this for Sendo, and for being able to load our samples, we need to unzip them, which we have done now. So I'm going to uh, delete this uh, RAR package or whatever you want to call it. And we are going to look for, I think it is either the ambient or the close. And these are two different styles of um, keys kind of when you press them you hear the difference um, but they are the same piano so that's basically it and here I guess the real samples are actually 
that only can be bred in that. Oh, please don't load them. I go nuts, man. It's yeah. Okay, so this five gigabytes. Okay, so let's go here. Instrument empty import. And let's have this one down to D on my drive. And uh, here is the. What? Okay, let's. Let me see again. Mm -hmm. Where did I put it? Okay, new folder. All right. Uh, so I'm actually going to just uh, call it the piano 162. That's fine and dandy. So let's just give me a uh, come on then. Yeah, no. Here we One R62. There we go. There's your piano 162. That's that's uh, all fine. So I'm gonna uh, go in here again, import, uh, back, 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 here, uh, where did, hello, where, it should be, um, this, okay, so, tree effect production, okay, that's where we put it, here we have it, uh, and so I'm gonna take the close one, so I'll open that, and, I think it's loading the samples now, I hope. Okay, so right now it said not responding. It means it's actually working its butt off. So it's probably coming in a while if no hacker decides to uh, have a toll here. Which, uh, because I've been hacked, so I know, like um, some Russians playing with me. So why wouldn't they right now? Like because I have internet on. So yeah, it's probably fun for them. Maybe if I kill internet. <laughs> that was a threat. <laughs> there, therefore, right now it came. So here we go. Okay, now you can't hear anything. So it's very low. So in that uh, scenario, I would put a compressor at once on this thing. So let's do that. Great with Bitwigs compressor. Let's pump that to six. And let's also go pan here uh, and let's just uh, write some. So, all right, edit, go inside of here and, and let's pump the volume a little more. That's better. Maybe a little more input. I don't know. So. Okay. Fine. Let's try to write something quickly. So like, um, This is completely worthless, but anyway. incredibly bad let's kill it let's do something else um okay so <clears throat> i wanted to make it dramatic there so let's do something else let's try but as you can hear uh the sounds are really clear and a really good proper normal piano So I just made a chord, let's try it. Good, thank you. So let's...
something like that. Maybe something like this. So as you can hear, it's very clear. Um, so that loops. So, you know, eight bars, perfect. So, so um, let's try uh, other pianos. This is, um, what do you call, piano 162. So instead of us or sand in there, I'm gonna write her name and call it uh, a uh, what do you call it piano piano one hundred and sixty two there we go one six two there you go done and dusted let's have another instrument track let's just uh, click here and add uh, what do you call it um, grand piano and it's a preset, so to compare, just to compare, uh, Grand Piano. This is Bitwig's own. Uh, so in, in case you have a Bitwig, you can find this one in Bitwig, the way that I just did it in this video. Um, so I'll just take the MIDI data, put it right down, and mute the Piano 162, and you can hear the difference here very much more muted and to be fair I will copy the compressor and we'll put it right over here so we get the exact, exact same, same amount of volume wow that just added way more um, punch um, in comparison to the other so let's uh, decrease the compressor there we go maybe as, as, as you can hear there is a huge quality difference like but it's not a bad piano, but it just, as you can hear, it sounds much older or dafter, like it's been staying in the same space for forever, being full of dust or something, <laughs> in my ears anyway. Because, I mean, go over to a piano 162 again, and it's like much clearer, like much. Um, so obviously if you like it or not it's up to you know preference maybe in some scenarios the the old piano would have been completely right while in other scenarios obviously the piano 162 would be completely right so it's a little bit up to you what kind of fits your situation or your taste or whatever you know what I mean so uh, both of these are free the only thing is that like piano 162 even if you don't have a DAW you don't have to buy it all because it's for Shando can be used as a standalone so you don't really have to have a big production software to to use that piano so you could basically have a MIDI keyboard you can play it just for you know practicing piano and use the standalone plugin and you don't really have to have this production suit software to be able to do it so you don't have to have Bitwig, FL Studio, Ableton Live, whatever it is you know what I mean uh, but yeah, so so that's the great thing uh, with these uh, samplers like so Sandal or like if you look in a um, what you call it like um, the contact free player, which is offered by Native Instruments as well. So the normal contact uh, costs a ton of money, but the contact player, the contact free player, it, it's it it's this you know acts the same as as the 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 um, this for Sandal. So Sando is, uh, I think, 100% free. Uh, you know, it's not made. I don't think it's there's a selling version for that. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, okay. So these two are free, with the exception, like I said, this one is only in Big Bitwig Studio. But the Piano 162 you can use in any door or as a standalone, which is great. You know. 
okay so now until a paid option so this is an option I've been using myself very much and this one is also from native instrument and it goes through that contact free player that I already been telling you about so um, to use that one you can uh, you know uh, I only use contact free player I don't want to pay for stuff so I mean okay I paid for the piano because it's a paid version but I, I didn't pay it for contact so because I know I will not use it so anyway double clicking this uh, we're getting up this this only piano that I'm using through contact and, and if you were to have a ton of you know uh, other instruments that you know relied on contact because there are enormously many synthesized or pianos or whatever that actually using contact uh, to to you know as a host for their samples if you didn't know that but it's good to know if you're a beginner anyway so there there is uh, very, very 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 many options um, from contact uh, when it comes to instrument not only pianos but I mean guitars uh, any kind of instruments basically I guess drums and stuff like that all right okay so let's compare this one as well so here's Alicia's keys and let's see how uh, Alicia's keys sound so let's mute mute and let's play this thing and we also want a compressor to be fair so I'll bring over a compressor to get basically the same sound and we'll see as you can hear I'm gonna louden just a tad and you can hear also a very clear piano right it's it's very pristine sounding and very clear And so, if you're going over to the grand piano again, you can hear the difference. It's like night and day, you know what I mean? But definitely not a bad piano, it has a bit of soul and stuff. It's it really, I don't know, it's, it's a nice little bass tone in that one, somehow, but it's, it, it's, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a big difference. There's a nice piano there. Uh, but you can always EQ that, of co course. But I, I, me personally, I say never EQ a piano because piano wants to have that natural sound. You know, it wants to breathe. It's it really important for a piano to sound natural, in my opinion. It's kind of like a voice, if you know what I mean. It, it's sensitive, so I wouldn't. Uh, I hate EQ and stuff that is supposed to be, you know, the way it's supposed to be. Uh, this is just what I say anyway. So you don't have to, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but um, that's just uh, how I feel. Here you have the Piano 162 again. Very bright. And uh, so as you can hear. Grand Piano Bitwigs. Delicious keys, true contact. And piano one hundred sixty very full sounding like it's a really good recording on this in my opinion perfect like almost but uh, yeah which one do you feel uh, sounds the best um, in my opinion it's almost leaning towards piano 1R62 this one is a little more I don't know pinpointy and like it's but a little bit less bass so in in you know I think I think there's less bass uh, anyway so these are the ones um, now it's up to you to try these uh, pianos I mean you have the piano 162 is free just go download it um, and you have the grand piano if you're using Bitwig um, you can try it and you also have the uh, con uh, the Alicia's keys which we are using to uh, um, to uh, uh, true uh, uh, 
let me just see here. I just uh, need an eye here. Thank you. Let's see. I am a little bit. Oh, uh, there we go. I am a little bit autistic. I'm actually um, autistic. So, uh, but I like order. <laughs> so, let's see here. Oh, uh, Alicia's keys. So we're gonna write keys here. I just want it correct for you guys, so you know how to spell it. There we go. These are the three ones. Piano 162, Grand Piano, Alicia's Keys. Those are the three you can check out. This one is paid. Uh, those two are free. This is only free if you're having Bitwig Studio. This one is free, whatever software you use. Okay, Picture Poison. I hope you like this video. I am 3DFX. You're very welcome back uh, to watch my other videos about things. I'm not, you know, 100% professional when it comes to pianos or anything. I'm mostly uh, producing only electronic uh, dance music and trance music, uplifting trance actually. Uh, so if you like the kind of stuff, you're very welcome with any, you know, uh, if you have a little bit of questions, newbie questions or whatever. So uh, without the being said, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please give me thumbs. I need thumbs. <laughs> and if you uh, uh, have any comments or questions or something, uh, suggestions perhaps, uh, please uh, write a little bit of uh, these down below in the uh, section below. I uh, wish you a very good day. I hope to see you back soon, guys. And I thank you very much for watching. See you guys very soon. Bye-bye.